everybody and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. I'm your host Phoenix and today I got I got um I got Sage with me today. <laughs> uh, I, I I got the uh, fuck you. I got uh, a <laughs> Sage with me today. That's great. This is Stuttering Sage and I am uh I don't know I was gonna say piss filled Phoenix since it's sorry with a P, but I don't know what else to <laughs> say. <laughs> <laughs> What other stupid thing could I say for the source with P? <laughs> uh, phonics Phoenix. Phonics Phoenix? What the fuck's a phonics? The alphabet! I, oh. <laughs> Man, that's really fitting because I can't read. <laughs> Learn your phonics Phoenix. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> You're okay. I know, you know what? I put my switch on my bed so I wouldn't break it, and then I proceeded to drop it on the floor. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. <laughs> yeah. I didn't Today is going really, really great. great. If anyone caught the one minute stream that happened before, I fucking deleted it. <laughs> AKA. No, you didn't. Yeah, you didn't? There's no stream. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't even know what Phoenix is on about. I think yeah. they're on a bit of right now, so don't believe anything they say. Do you say. say I'm on coke right now and I shouldn't be believed? <laughs> yeah. That was some kind of, like, defense attorney shit. They're like, no, your client's on drugs, my friend. Um, they should not be believed. The witness yeah, is coked out of their mind. <laughs> their account is rubbish because, <sighs> uh, they're coked, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, your honor, this is an unreliable witness. They are currently coked out in this courtroom right now. <laughs> And in fact, if you look over to your left, they are actually sniffing it up right now. Yeah, I'm like doing a line on the on the fucking witness stand. <laughs> Just like, <sighs> you know, I, I saw them go down 3rd Street. <laughs> and, and then make a left on 3rd. <laughs> I know it, that was when I, when I snorted my 13th blow that day. <laughs> what are you gonna say? I know it because I smelt it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I would know. I was I was snowing the foot trails of where they were going like a hound dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, snorting cocaine really opens up your your nostrils. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even gonna deny the fact that I'm sniffing right now. <laughs> it, it helps me with my memory problems. What were we talking about again? <laughs> You're on a permission to do another line. <laughs> per you're on a permission to smoke a joint. <laughs> anyway, we're good. <laughs> I was like, we didn't do anything silly before this recording. What is going to be the silly thing? It's us it's fucking being coked out of our mind. <laughs> Pretend court. Anyway. Yeah, instead of the Wattpad book club, it's the high Wattpad book club. <laughs> There's a, I've always wanted to do an episode where I get, uh, like, we drink out, we and my guests drink alcohol and read. I think it'd be really funny. <laughs> but I don't know who would want to do that. <laughs> do you want to do Jolie. that? Jolie doesn't I, drink I, yeah. that much. Oh, shit. Uh, what about Minho? You know what? Minho's always claiming that he has special juice before. I, I can, I can try Minho. <laughs> <laughs> I'm great. Yeah, but uh, anyway, the wheel was spun uh, from me, like my choice, to now Cherry Bomb Exerpentious, and I'm very excited to show you guys the book that we found for it. It's complete, written after season one, and I'm very excited for it. You know, he was he was a boy, she was a girl. Can I make it any more obvious? Yeah, he was a snake, she was a terrier. Can I make it any more of you? Yo, this 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 parody go kind of hard. It's like it's like when they do Minecraft parodies for songs to fit in with the game. We just do has been hotel parodies that fit in with the show. Yeah, what my book club parody? <laughs> this is this is called Serpentious slash Cherry Bomb Interdimensional Love. That sounds like a really cool cover for like a Stanford X reader. I'm like being completely honest. But... Uh, <laughs> what? Just let me have this, all right? <laughs> I, I'm just trying to smoke a, a joint right now. <laughs> it's okay. 
He's very close. <laughs> Anyway, this is complete, so we can probably get this done in this recording, because it's only a 34-minute read. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm very excited. It's it's complete. We're saying, Cherry Bob and Serpentius attempt to find a way to reunite, but it's no easy task. This was their story. This this gives off that, like, that end sentence gives off the same vibe of, like, the, like, the Super Paper Mario intro. Like, this is a tale of two lost souls. And then they get reunited <laughs> at the end and, like, die. <laughs> I have no idea, but that end sentence reminded me of who killed Markiplier. What? And I have no idea why. It just came to my what head. What are it's you like, talking about? <laughs> this is their story. <laughs> I'm, what do I you don't, mean? I don't know what video you're talking about. You don't know the hit series Who Killed Markiplier? I know the hit series A Date with Markiplier. Fuck do my you coin. Know <laughs> Do you know the hit series In Space with Markiplier? I actually never watched it. You disgust me. I know. For, first I had Minho mad at me because I watched dubbed anime, and now I got you mad at me because I'm not a Markiplier fan. Where, where will the times end? When will my misery end? Oh, Phoenix, there's always something to be disappointed. <laughs> you're like, I knew there was something off about you. You're, sh <laughs> you're gay. <laughs> You shouldn't be outside enjoying the sun. You should be in a cave. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> in a ca in a I thought you said in a cage. You're like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a cave. I really thought you meant you are going to put me in a cage and like, spray me with a hose because I don't fucking watch Markiplier. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, it's going to be a great idea, thanks. This homeless man won't leave. No, this homeless man won't watch Markiplier. Someone's spraying him with dirty brown water. <laughs> <laughs> this homeless man doesn't know what I'm talking about, so I'm spraying him with dirty brown water. Get in your cage. <laughs> you can't, you can't I, keep back. <laughs> I keep forgetting that factoid. <laughs> Alright, you ready to the, flip the coin to see who goes first? Hell yeah. Alright. Alright. Uh, oh, fuck. Did you say what you wanted? I already forgot. <laughs> oh my god. Heads or tails? Uh, I'll go heads. Okay, heads, okay. Man, life hates you. <laughs> Why? It's heads. <laughs> Yay! Does that mean I get to be first? Yeah, yeah, you get to be first! Also, just as a reminder, yeah! I replaced the word finger with nublet, so. <laughs> Oh shit, okay. I always forget and I always say finger and then you go, uh, 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 wait. <laughs> Dude, I had a, I had finger replaced with nublet for the Minho recording and I was like, why the fuck is nublet in this story? <laughs> I'm like so confused. <laughs> what the fuck? I was like, nublet? The fuck? <laughs> you know who nublet is. Yeah, well, I was like, why the fuck does it say nublet here? And I'm like, oh shit, it's supposed to say finger. My, my, my bad guys. And Minho was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure you sent me a photo of that. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta send this to Sage. Don't find it funny. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. After the battle. Master is cattle. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Overlord. <laughs> Thank you, bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What? Where am I? Oh! The punch as he exclaims while realizing that he made it. <clears throat> oh my, it's you, said Emily excitedly. Sarah wasn't very pleased, sporting an unpleasant look. Wait a minute, is this the place? Did I make it? asked Sir Pentius. Welcome to heaven, Mr. Pentius, said Sarah while hiding the shell shocked feeling inside of her. <laughs> Emily couldn't believe it so much that when she ran to hug Pentius, she tripped over her own feet. Sir Pentius held back a laugh. Sarah got worried, but Emily was just fine, getting up and giving Sir Pentius a monster hug. A monster hug? <laughs> well, she's Damn. huge, you know? <laughs> Is she? She's fucking tall as shit. Isn't Charlie only, like, six foot and- I think, I think, um, like, Sarah's, like, at least three tall- Three, uh, Charlie talls. Fuck, wait. <laughs> three <laughs> Charlie <laughs> talls. <laughs> Three Charlie's tall. <laughs> so, <if> you, <laughs> you know who needs alcohol?
how to have fun with your friends when you're this stupid sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you stack three Charlies on top of one another. It would be the height of Sarah. There we go. I can say a complete sentence. Oh, I thought we were talking about Emily. Oh. Yeah, because she's she's tinier than Charlie. Oh, right? I misread. I was like, I thought Sarah got up and gave Sir Penches a hug. <laughs> <My bad. laughs> That's very out of character. <laughs> yeah, she would not hug a, a winner. Ew. <laughs> Ugh, how could she? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back in hell, it was clear everyone was beyond static about the success of their abilities fight off the extermination. Holy shit, did we just do that? Asked Husk while pulling out his finest whiskey from under the rubble, surprisingly intact. Damn straight, added Angel while pulling out the unbroken whiskey glasses. How is everything unbroken? <laughs> Yeah, what what bottle is that made out of? Fucking titanium? <laughs> I'm titanium. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight we celebrate. Tomorrow we rebuild. Said Husk while pouring everyone a drink. Even with the jubilation in everybody's soul, they all felt a little sorrow, knowing of the uncertainty that was serpentious. Was he truly gone for good? Is mm -hmm. he stuck in purgatory? <laughs> Are you okay? No, I'm just, I'm just when she was like, is, she, is he truly gone for good? I'm like, uh-huh, yep, st story ends. <laughs> <laughs> is, is he stuck in forever purgatory? Did he do enough to actually be redeemed? No one knew and will probably ever know. The intense grief hit no one like Cherry Bomb. It was all she was able to think about whilst drinking her whiskey. She had conflicting feelings. On one hand, this guy was just some awkward creep, but on the other, he made her feel something that she never felt before. She couldn't even explain it, all she knew was that it felt good. These thoughts plagued her mind for the rest of the night. Heaven. <laughs> Welcome heaven. to heaven. Oh. <laughs> I really thought they were about to write it in the song, because like, they realized that Sir Petrus wasn't like here anymore. So I thought it was going to be like Charlie... Charlie knelt down and felt the, the sign, and she just sighs and goes, He did it for us. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate sacrifice. He gave me his trust. <laughs> and look how he paid for it. <laughs> so, this is the holy water fountain, exclaimed Emily while giving Serpentius a tour of heaven. This place seems pretty amazing, but where should I stay? Don't worry, I'll take care of that, said Sarah from behind. Thank you, I really appreciate that, said Sir Penchus with a huge grin. The tour continued, but nearing the end, Emily was asked to get a special piece of memorabilia for Sir Penchus and his venture here. Leaving Sarah and Sir Penchus to finish off the tour. Hell. <laughs> they came and... <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> just, you, I just love it, just this, Hell. Heaven. <laughs> I, I, I'm trying to read it in the most nonchalant way ever, like, heaven. <laughs> Hell is forever, whether you like it or not. We're never gonna get through this. <laughs> <laughs> the next day came, and still, all over Cherry's mind was the slithering serpent. Ch Cherry knew she needed to talk to someone about this. One week later, <laughs> it's almost finished at this point. <laughs> it's Cherry moved in within the last week. Can you stop? <laughs> Sorry. You're making me laugh. But <laughs> well, when you laugh, it makes me laugh. <laughs> Why are you fucking here? I haven't done anything wrong. <laughs> uh, can we talk about something? Cherry Bomb asked Charlie. Sure, what's up? Heaven. <laughs> <laughs> what was about wrapped up? But Emily was still on the hunt for a proper souvenir for Sir Penchus. Why, thank you very much, Sarah. Also, let Emily know I'm very grateful for her help, said Sir Penchus while walking away. Wait. You have, see, you have to see your new place to live, said Sarah. Oh yeah, thank you so much for that. Let's see this. Around ten minutes later, they reached the place. It was a little dark, but spacious. 
So, here we are, Mr. Serpentius. Well, thank you so much. I couldn't love this more. <laughs> but before I go, I have to show you one more thing, said Sarah with an assuring smile. Okay, I did, Serpentius. Out of nowhere, Sarah takes out a large syringe-shaped device reading memory eraser <gasps> on the side. No! <laughs> you bitch! That bitch! <laughs> Serpentius's expression quickly changed. Wait, is that my mind eraser device I gifted you earlier? Wait. Sorry, I can't take any chances, said Sarah while moving <laughs> towards Serpentius. Holy shit! No! <laughs> they got my boy! <laughs> yeah. Anyway, your turn. Foss Inks. Two. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie and Cherry Bomb begin their conversation. So, uh, what's on your mind? Charlie asks in her normal, joyous passion. How do I sound Australian? I just gotta sound British, right? <laughs> Why are you <laughs> like this? <laughs> Be American! <laughs> I just can't get over him, answers Cherry Bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up, I can hear you. <laughs> Cherry Bomb, beginning to turn red. Ch Charlie's face changes to one of grief. Yeah, neither can I. He changed my outlook on this whole thing. He just, he just about saved us. I need to see him again. It's, it's eating my soul. Charlie's face turned into an a deep frown. I'm sorry, but all, for all I know, there's nothing that we can do. Right as Cherry Bomb starts to tear up, a thought of flashes through Vaggie's mind, who's been eavesdropping on the conversation. Wait, I think there is something that you can do, but it's a last resort, really. Cherry Bomb turns very interested. I'll try anything at this point. But it's not ideal. Please, <laughs> said Cherry Bomb. Why are you, <laughs> you so good? I thought I was sounding Australian. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll go put, put myself. Play. <laughs> go put myself play. down. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> right, I'm sorry. Are you reading? Are you? No, oh, no, 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 no. You can, you continue. <laughs> yeah, no, I will. <laughs> okay, okay, you do that. Fine. One around one year ago, I was venturing through town and saw this rundown place. It seems like it hasn't been touched in years. Answer, Baggy. On the. The building was a was a sign that was labeled FOS Inc. That was, and there was this dumpster poster reading "Communicate with the Dead." It's probably some hoax. Where is this place? As Cherry Bomb. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to keep it. <laughs> Couldn't keep it. Heaven knows I tried. Oh my God. <laughs> Uh, it was by Hell's Greatest Cup of Joe, which is just closed down, by the way. And the same probably happened to this place. Oh, the same probably happened to this place. Okay, be right there. I'll be right back. Fuck. <laughs> Said Cherry was walking out the door. She had to succeed in this mission. Around two hours, she finally found the place. The bright red sign read, FOS Inc. And in small text, Factory of Sadness Incorporated. Outside the front door was a lawn chair in which someone, sm someone smoking a cigar is sitting in the chair. He was a little shorter than the average person, clearly modeled after a penguin. Cherry Palm walked up to him. Can I help you? Uh, can, can I actually speak to the dead? Asked Cherry Palm. Well, they don't call me Black Shadow for nothing, he answered while the, s the cigar smoke blew into Cherry's face. A yell from inside followed, No one calls you that. Dark Shadow rolled his eyes. Come on, let's head inside and meet the other guys, said Black Shadow while standing up. They walked in. They, fuck. <laughs> they both walked in. The interior matched the exterior in design and quality. Black Shadow introduced her to, to the cast. First, I'm obviously Black Shadow, the best one here. The other two rolled their eyes. This is White Excellence, and I'll buy no. Yeah, I read that right. Fuck yeah. I'll, an albino lion. And this is Piss Monkey. <laughs> it was a monkey. <laughs> Why is he called Piss Monkey? Asked Cherry. You don't want to know. <laughs> That's white excellent. 
<laughs> I love that it's black shadow, white excellence, piss monkey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not like grey brilliance or something. It's no. just yeah. piss monkey. <laughs> is is this like me, you and Leslie? Like Leslie's like I I want which one do you want to be? I want to be piss monkey. That's that's who I want to be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll be uh, I'll be Black Shadow because you know I'm the best one there, obviously. Yeah. yeah, you guys are like normal names, and I'm like, hey guys, I'm Piss Monkey, and you're like, oh my god, why did we invite this guy? <laughs> yeah, you show up rocking with all your plushies, and like, yeah, and this is Piss Monkey Junior. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, me with the with the big SMG4. I'm like, this is this is Piss Monkey Junior. I can't wait to play with you guys. And you're like, oh my fucking god, why did we invite him out anymore? <laughs> Actually, we didn't invite you, you just showed up. <laughs> how, did, how did you find us? <laughs> <laughs> the piss monkey has secrets. <laughs> piss <laughs> if, if piss monkey is not an important character to this store, I'm going to be very upset. <laughs> Me too, actually. I'm kind of invested in Piss Monkey. Yeah. I need to know his backstory. Can we get yeah, a this... chapter on Piss Monkey? <laughs> this, this is not Cherry Bomb X, so just, This is Piss Monkey's story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Piss Monkey is not my new favorite original character. <laughs> it's just a monkey who likes to piss. I want... I <laughs> Piss monkey merch now. <laughs> Vipsy, drop piss monkey merch, and my life is yours. <laughs> I want to know what piss monkey looks like. I'm just picturing a normal monkey that just has a pissing problem. <laughs> oh my god, you like imagination. <laughs> oh, I forgot to ask. What's your name? Asked Black Shadow. Just call me Cherry. <laughs> Fuck. I am fucking- <laughs> I fucking give all this. <laughs> Alright then. Are, are you here to communicate with the dead? Yes, I am. Okay, please sign this contract. Oh, sorry, wait, this is Piss Monkey talking. Alright, please sign this contract, said Piss Monkey. <laughs> <laughs> out a con <laughs> Cherry Bomb signed the contract. They sat in a semicircle table. The FOS in their position. At the head of the table. On the on the table is some weird orb. Alright, let's begin. Please put your hands on this orb, said the White Excellence. Now, who do you want to talk to? An old friend? We need their name, said Piss Monkey. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Serpentius. The three grew wide-eyed. Like the one who practically gave himself up for us? Asked Black Shadow. How do you know about him? He's talked about all- Oh shit, that's not- <laughs> I thought that was Piss Monkey, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> he's talked about all- He's the talk of the town, said White Excellence. Well, wow, he's that great, huh? Said Cherry Bomb. Yeah, now that I think about it, your fondest memories with him, said Sh Black Shadow as everyone else began touching the orb 40 seconds later. <laughs> Hold on, I think I'm getting the read. Uh. Ask me a question. Oh, that is Piss Monkey. God damn it. Hold <laughs> on, I think I gotta read it. <laughs> Ask me a question. <laughs> um, how are you doing? Wait, I'm getting an answer from him, said White Excellence. Okay, he's saying, No way you thought this would work. All three erupted in a lot of laughter. Cherry Bomb was a verge of tears, but the sound is certain to anger. She got up and walked away. But right before leaving, she set the place ablaze. Because it was too busy laughing, none of the three realized their establishment was burning to the ground until it was too late. They didn't make it out on time. No, Piss Monkey! No, piss Monkey! Someone draw me fan art of Piss Monkey. I need it. <laughs> piss Monkey was the exception. Piss Monkey was a goat. Yeah. Th that was probably our longest chapter because we kept making fun of Piss Monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I... When you... <laughs> when you said... Hold on, I think I gotta read it! <laughs> the accent carried over into the part of the sentence that said, like, said piss monkey. You were like, saying piss monkey. It <laughs> had to go with the bit. Piss monkey talks in third person. <laughs> I piss oh. monkey, say piss monkey. <laughs> 
piss monkey says, I am piss monkey. <laughs> it's like reverse Yoda. He just, he just puts way too much emphasis on his own name. <laughs> <laughs> My oh, God. Do a reading I will, say a piss monkey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh God. <laughs> What's for friendship? Holy shit. <laughs> we We don't have to go down this road, Sarah, please, said Sir Penchus as Sarah moved closer with the syringe. The pleads fall under deaf ears as the syringe is shoved straight into Penchus's brain. Damn. Sarah turns around to see a shell-shocked Emily holding a beautiful charm with hearts, diamonds, and all sorts of gems. The souvenir made for Sir Pentius is dropped and cracks into many pieces on the floor. Emily runs out of the house and Sarah doesn't bother trying to follow. Emily runs for what seems like hours and hours and hours. She makes it to Holy Water River in where she contemplates her entire life. Relatable to be fair. Yeah. Sometimes you look at a river and just be like, where where did I go wrong? <laughs> yeah, sometimes you just need to look at a river and go, damn. <laughs> yeah, and you get to a high school musical kind of thing where it's like, I'm not gonna stop, not gonna stop till I get my sh <laughs> Please tell me you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> of course I know what you're talking okay, about. But... Ew. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I flew too close to the song on that one. Yeah. <laughs> Was well, Sarah always this cold hearted? Mm -hmm. Is she doing what's for everyone? Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> These thoughts rush through her mind faster than the water stream. So Pentius has learned a lot of things from hell, like not to fully trust anyone. So Pentius knew this might happen. So the memory of my eraser was just a bunch of fluff. What actually happened was that this memory eraser was just filled with his newly minted brain vitamins. Huh? Yeah, sure. <laughs> that works. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this this is this is great. But now for a long time he had to act ignorant so Sarah wouldn't expect anything. About one hour after the incision, Sir Pentius awoke seeing that Sarah left. He knew he had to get his revenge, but how? Sarah spent about 30 minutes looking for Emily and soon finds her. She begins trying to explain her actions, but Emily is deeply teary. You know, it's what was best, stated Sarah. Why does it always have to be what you think is right? You may be at the top of this whole thing, but what happened to trusting in others? Emily, he's fresh out of hell. Who knows what his intentions were? I had to raise his mind or think of the consequences. Even though he's straight out of hell, think about what he had to do to get here. Clearly he's cleansed now, or he'd be stuck in hell, or even in purgatory. The first soul to be redeemed, or whatever they call it, and you do that, unbelievable, Emily says, while getting up and flying away. Serpentius so attempts to find new friends, acting very cu curious. Um, hello sir, how are you? Serpentius so starts at someone sitting on a bench. Just call me Ghost Rider. <laughs> Ghost Rider in heaven? Oh my god, is this Luke? He just called Ghost Rider instead of Ghost Rider. <laughs> 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 I know, that took me all day. <laughs> oh wow, congratulations. That was a great joke. Yeah, I deserve an Emmy for that one. <laughs> well, Ghost Rider, do you want to be friends or something? Why, well, of course I do. I want to be friends with everybody here. Oh, goody, states Sir Pentius. So, what do people do up here for fun? asked Sir Pentius. Well, there's this mini golf place, a bowling alley, and even a basketball court, Ghost Rider answered. Well, isn't that something? What's your favourite thing to do here? Personally, I like the basketball court. Well, do you want to have a match? Let me finish this coffee first, and then I'll come around. It's over there, I'll meet you there. So Pentius waited, waited, and waited. He realised he just got conned by a ghost rider. That was two people on his revenge list. Holy shit! Why are people so mean? It's heaven. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> and Sir Pentius did find a few people who actually enjoyed his company and played a 2v2 game with him. 
They went by the wise man, the tribal chief, and the honorary ruse. The Serpentus was a dunk machine. He put up 38 points and as his team won 51 to 34. Serpentius very nervously asked, Can I be your guy's friend? <laughs> I mean, sure, why not? said the wise man. Serpentius was ecstatic, shaking all their hands. We meet here every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday at 1pm, but we also mini-golf on Wednesdays at 3 and we play rec hockey every Monday at 8pm. Hockey? asked Serpentius. It's quite a sport. Show up at 7 on Monday and we'll show you how great it is. Okay, thank you everybody, said Serpentius while walking away. Walking. He slithered like a little snake. <laughs> <laughs> he did sk 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 you know? Yeah, I just did the rock face at <laughs> You're like, like he walked. <laughs> walking. <laughs> yeah, he actually has two legs. <laughs> so Benches used the rest of the day thinking of ways he could contact Cherry Bomb. Sarah spent hours contemplating if she made the correct decision. Emily didn't know what to do with herself at this point. Okay, your turn. <sighs> Me either, bitch. I don't know what to do with myself half the time. Yeah, we know. Fuck you. <laughs> No, that's it. I'm pulling out the S and G four plushie. He's going no! back in my lap. Yeah, no! fuck you. <laughs> no! He's back in my lap. No. <laughs> Cherry Bomb walked all the way back to the hotel, giving no fucks about anything in this world. She got to the hotel and kicked the front door so hard that the it ricocheted off the wall and almost shut again. What the hell was that all about? They fucked with my head, answered Cherry Bomb. Who did? These pricks who fooled me. I hope they're dead now. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are we even talking about? We're talking about some crack or fuck <laughs> <laughs> Did neither Charlie, Charlie or Vaggy tell you where I went? No, they're, they're lava skating some right now. They're, oh, I guess they don't have, they don't have cold. I do like nah. the visual of that. <laughs> Lava skating, that would be cool. Yeah, I think we would die. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Sherbon proceeds to tell Angel Dust the dilemma. Hus joins in and listens on. Do you want to go to make sure they're dead? Asks Angel Dust. I love to, but I gotta go lay down for a while. Okay, just let me know when you want to go back. Oh, trust me, I will said Cherry Bomb, was walking to our room. Around 45 minutes later, Charlie and Vaggy returned. Angel Dust told them what happened. Let's go bust some heads, said Vaggy, right, right in, right, right after the spiel concluded. Wait, let's think about this rationally, said Charlie. What's there rational to say, said Angel Dust. I'm not, a, I'm not a big fan of people screwing over my friends. Well, at least tell Charlie that we're heading out. I can't tell who's talking anymore. Okay, <laughs> Angel just said, well, head well, heading to Char Cherry Bum's room. Alistair walks in soon after, who was gone for the last three days, probably making another deal with Lilith. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Seeing his boyfriend, Vox. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Mm. Uh. <laughs> I said I was sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell have you been? Asked Husk. Doing business, say, what happened to old fashioned music? Now that. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> 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 now it's all about the hip sound effects. What happened to the sweet lyrics? Said Alistair as he sat down. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> no one sp stop speaking witch. <laughs> Damn. I I know, right? Said Husk. Probably because he has to agree or else he's gonna die. <laughs> Cherry? Come on, let's go bust the fucks. Cherry? Angel Dust opens the door to find her, nowhere to be seen. So then I said, Why call it music? Just call it, Hey, we got an issue. Said Angel Dust, interrupting the conversation. Hmm, what's the matter? I can't do anything, right? <laughs> <laughs> it said asked Alistair Cherry isn't here Well shit she could be anywhere Said Vaggy I think we all know where Said Charlie They all headed to FO 
S. Oh, fuck yourself. Incorporated. <laughs> no, that's- no. Wait, is that not it? It's F-O-S, not uh, F-Y. Oh, god damn it. I thought it was on to something. <laughs> yeah, oh uh, yeah, you're not far off, it's no, we're, okay. Like yourself. Uh, whatever, fuck. Uh, <laughs> whatever it is at this point. They found Cherry watching the blaze burn on and on. Uh, I think they're dead now. Damn right, said Cherry with a smirk. What's that back? It's getting late, said Angel Dust. Wait, hold up. I gotta do one more thing. She walked straight through the fire, badass, and placed three bombs right by the corpses. Lit them and and what the hell and got the hell out of there. They went back to the hotel. Cherry Bomb still had no idea what to do with herself. Her best option was to turn out to be nothing but a fluff. What now? asked Cherry Bomb sadly. I think it's time we gave up. Damn, Baggy. Good, good on you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we never give up, said Charlie angrily. Come on, what other options do we have? I don't know, but I'll search high, high and low, left and right, up and down, in and out for this. Charlie had her mission. Find out what happened to Sir Pentius. She began searching through town for any answers, which consisted of many false leads. The worst was this Heaven Portal service, which was just a mail collector that led to a trash can. The cruel realization that soon came about, there was no vital way to connect to Sir Pentius. They would just... They couldn't even learn where he was. But then it was realized that if they somehow made it to heaven, they wouldn't have all the answers, but how would they get there was a big issue. Or if they could even get there. I think I butchered that entire chapter. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't want to be the one to you say just, yes. Just say yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Thanks, I appreciate well, it. I know why you butchered that entire chapter. Did I? <laughs> I, I know why though, I know why. Why? Because there was no piss monkey in it. I, that's right! How about it I is just... heartbreaking. Everyone is now piss monkey, I'm gonna read it in piss monkey's voice. <laughs> <laughs> the grief of losing piss monkey as soon as we find <laughs> Piss monkey, R.I.P. 2024 to 2024. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Transmissions. Sir Pentius had almost given up hope on trying to contact Cherry Bomb before remembering his secret devices he left in his pockets. One was labelled the Hell Communicator, which allowed him to tap into any place in any ring of hell using frequencies and audio waves. H hell very was convenient. He up here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it's just very convenient. Why did you have that? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Sir Pentius was so proud of his findings that he almost did a backflip. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of that stupid video. It was like, boy comes out to parents and and parents flip, and he just goes like, mom, dad, I'm gay, and the parents actually do a flip, and then the video ends. <laughs> it reminded me of that that one fucking frog. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so pungent. <laughs> what is wrong with that? I thought you were just like doing a backflip. He <laughs> just goes like backwards and he just goes bark. Oh, my face hurts. <laughs> this is the best recording we've ever done. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, piss yeah. monkey. <laughs> piss monkey, coked up. We've got the southern cherry bomb. Back flipping pen. <laughs> <laughs> Back flipping snakes. <laughs> what? That was that. We get out. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. No, you don't go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> He had to make sure it worked. He had to remember the nearest radios to the hotel were. Luckily, he knew a guy who was all about that stuff. 
He also could only speak with it in Morse code, so he had to count on one of them being able to understand it. After around six hours of jailbreaking his device from out of heaven in his makeshift house, he finally got his first communications from hell in the gluttony ring. Ooh. He transferred to the pride ring and got to work searching all over town. He worked so hard that he missed the weekly mini golf. The others weren't too happy about it, but still had trust in him. Emily, please, you have to hear me out, yelled Sarah towards a closed door. You can't ignore me forever. I'm going to find Sir Pentius and prove he's doing much better now, Sarah said whilst leaving. Emily would sneakily follow because she was also intrigued about what happened to Sir Pentius. Sir Pentius remembered the area code for the hotel but had a very difficult time attempting to input it. He got into contact with clubs, bars, even a separate hotel, but after a very long search, he finally encrypted the code for the Has Been Hotel. So he began sending the classic SOS in Morse code, which was recognised by Alistair, who knew something about Morse code. Oh, wow. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Yippee! Hell. <laughs> hey, what's going on here? This radio is sending off SOS signals, said Alistair to everybody, who were all sitting in the lobby. Well, can you send something back? asked Charlie. Yeah, let me connect my broken microphone to it. <laughs> Does it work with a microphone? asked Maggie. It's not ideal. I would actually need a transmitter. Then why did you bring up your microphone? asked Charlie. Because it also has a transmitter in it. Of course it did. Well, how can we get a transmitter? asked Maggie. At the Hell Workshop. One Hell Workshop trip later. <laughs> Sir Pentius has almost given up at this point, but finally received a response. Who are you? Sir Pentius had to keep his cool and respond fast before getting happy. Sir Pentius. Charlie wrote all the letters that Alistair relayed to her. Everybody in the room shared a very strange look at the radio. It had to be a hoax. There was no way. Alistair sent a response. Prove it. Sir Pentius was stuck on how to prove it, but then he knew how. Did I connect to Alistair's radio? Charlie started to believe it was true, but Vaggie, Alistair, Husk, Angel Dust, and especially Cherry Bomb were still skeptical. Ask him what my favourite colour is, said Angel Dust. Did you really tell him that? asked Cherry Bomb. Yeah, we had very interesting conversations. Alistair would ask the question. Sir Pentius responded. Cherry Blossom Pink. Of course. That's very specific. <laughs> 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 Angel, <laughs> Angel didn't know whether to be happy or terrified. Yeah, he got it right. More of them started to believe. Wait, one final question to prove all be all, said Husk. Ask him what's his deepest, darkest fear. Alistair obliged, so Pentius hesitated very much while trying to answer. But he did. Disappointing the ones I love. Aww. Hey, he's just like me! <laughs> he's just like me for real! <laughs> he Maybe Sir Pentius is my favorite character in Hazmat. <laughs> Damn, you need to start collecting his merch then. Oh god. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. I can't do it. You can do it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> You can do it! Someone else can have the snake boy, I don't want him. You do want him. Not like that. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> okay, that's him, said Husk with a smile. I wasn't expecting this to get sad, said Alistair. So, what should we ask him? Where he is, if he's doing okay, asked Angel Dust. We ask it all, said Cherry Bomb. What conspired was a very long conversation that led to tears, laughs, and everything in between. Heaven. <laughs> Sarah and Emily. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sarah and Emily were still looking and came across his friend group, asking them for information. What was he like? Was he scary? Was he nice? Asked Emily. He was a gift. He might just have a heart pure of gold. Said honorary Roos. I told you it was for the best, said Sarah. What are you guys talking about? asked the wise man. Don't worry about it. 
Jeez, and I think he has some sort of lover who he talked about. We have to meet her one day. What? Oh yeah, we never told you, but he hit this dunk and whispered to himself something like, that was for you, Cherry. It was sweet. When I asked him about it, he demanded we speak of something else. Isn't someone who goes by Cherry in hell? Emily asked Sarah. Sarah would immediately start flying again, ignoring the question and clearly pissed off. Damn. Damn. Your turn. <laughs> Fucking on the court. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, Serpentius is bawling in the courtroom? <laughs> oh my lord, he's bawling right now. <laughs> the communication was pretty bitter, but <laughs> the communication was bittersweet. Because now they could communicate with each other, but there was no clear option of how they could actually reconnect. This Morris code would be the only way. Sarah was absolutely livid, setting up a manhunt for Serpentius, all to prove that he actually lost his memory or not. Trust me, if he he could have if he could have har caused harm, you God damn it. <laughs> Trust me, if he would have caused harm, it would be present already. Emily said towards Sarah. Sarah wasn't in the mood for this, so she decided to look herself again. Emily would begin secretly telling people of heaven that Sarah may not be who they as assume her to be. It's, wow, Emily, spreading rumors. <laughs> Damn. I thought you were better than that. <laughs> yeah. Sir Pat just realized he forgot about weekly golf, but it's the day of the basketball, so he... Yeah, basketball. So he went and had to explain himself. Look, fellow friends, I'm so sincerely sorry for my absence of mini golf yesterday. Please forgive me. The three looked confused. Don't worry about it, man. Stuff happens, said the, the tribal chief. Did I say that right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good, okay. <laughs> it's all cool. Let's ball, said the wise man. Serpentius was overjoyed his new friends didn't care that much. And bald he did. He was bawling <laughs> all over the court. <laughs> and bald he did. <laughs> I wanna see a p I wanna see fan art of Serpentius bawling. <laughs> Me too, bawling. I wanna see him dunking. <laughs> <laughs> no one really thinks he does have legs, he can't do the cool thing where he like puts the puts the like the the basketball between his legs to do like those cool little tricks. <laughs> he doesn't have legs. I just said he doesn't. He can't do it. <laughs> well, I thought he said, "Oh, it'd be cool if he could." I was like, "Well, he can't." <laughs> well, that's why I was. Just, I just said he doesn't have legs, and I was sad well, for him. <laughs> whatever. Whatever, mom. Shut up. Shut. He was me. His new friends went by the three wonders were astonished. These gains was demolished by Sir Pentius' threes, going 12, 15, and three pointers. He also had seven dunks. His team won 64 to 41. The three wonders decided it might be unfair for what team he was on, so they came up with a proposal. Look, man, you're extraordinarily good at this sport. I never seen such talent, but how about hey, we do a 3v1, said the honorary Roos. Well, I don't see why not. It's I truly believe I'm that good, answered Sir Pentius. Awesome. Let us ball. It's <laughs> bong in the court. <laughs> the game Sir was <laughs> Yo, he's straight up balling on God? He's dunking the in the holy in the holy hoop? <laughs> no cap for yeah. real? The game was a firestorm. Three all over, dunks left and right. Sir Pentius was speedy. Passing was almost useless. The final score was actually to be a tie after 15 minutes, 62 and 62, so they went for three throws. The wise men missed their. Mr. Missed. What? The wise men missed their missed his first one. <laughs> and so did Serpentius. The tribal chief did, made his shot, and Serpentius missed again. Honorary Roos made his shot. The, Serpentius needed this shot to stay alive, so he, well, he was winding up. Serpentius, what are you doing? Sarah realized her angered voice was a bad idea. Serpentius remembered the dilemma, so he acted in it. Sorry, who? But who are you? Cut the fluff, Serpentius. 
The Easter egg told me everything. I have no idea what you're talking about, Sir Prentice said, clearly being betrayed. Yeah, what is this all about? asked the tribal chief. Your friend here is actually from hell. The three wonders were very confused. What are you talking about? He's the realest and most sincere Pearson we've we may have ever met, said the wise man. Emily ever heard the problem ensuing. Having told a few people about the issue with of Sarah. <laughs> what's, a, what's going on here? Asked Emily. It's it's true. It's true. He's never lost his memory. Sarah answered. Well, I'm glad. He didn't deserve that. How blind is everyone here? His intentions can be cruel. But he wouldn't even hurt a, an atom particle, said the tribal chief. Sarah was so pissed off and confused with herself at this point that she almost broke the basketball hoop, but kept it calm and, and left. Emily, who then talked to Sir Penches more about it, all he wanted to do was shoot his free for now. <laughs> He's like, I can give less of a shit about this. I'm trying to ball right now. <laughs> yes, I just don't. I don't have time. <laughs> I'm trying to no. ball. <laughs> the conversation lasted around 15 minutes, detailing why he didn't lose his memory, some stuff from hell, his other gadgets. Finally, Emily flew away and Serpentius would attempt his free throw. He missed, heartbreaking for Serpentius, but the three wonders didn't celebrate too hard, because it did take all three of them just to beat one dude. Fun games, everyone. Don't forget about hockey, Serpentius, said Honorary Roos. Oh, I won't. Due to the spreading rumors, Sarah was going through a PR nightmare and decides that she needed to hold a press conference that night. Damn. Not the press conference in heaven. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that's ridiculous. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> how, how do you feel? I feel fantastic. Good. Do, do you miss Pick Monkey? I, mi I miss Piss Monkey a lot. <laughs> I miss Piss Monkey so much. Piss Monkey was our favorite. <laughs> and Piss Monkey was the best out of all of us. Yeah, we. <laughs> no, it makes yeah. me better than a Piss Monkey in summer. <laughs> <laughs> piss Monkey is everyone's favorite animal. <laughs> yeah, true. I feel like this fan fiction has brought out like the worst in us, but in the best way. <laughs> What do you mean the worst of us? We kept talking about Piss Monkey. What could be better than that? <laughs> you know what? That's so true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be spitting sometimes. <laughs> yeah, and we've also decided that uh, you are now going to collect Sir Benches merch, guys. Woo! Oh, feel... Sir Benches merch review soon. I can't. I don't think I can do it. <laughs> yeah, I believe in you. <laughs> I can't do it. I'm not doing that. I, I, dude, know how long it's been for me to get the fucking Vox shit? There's no way in hell I can afford Sir Pen I just literally today, I was like, man, I'm really good at this, like, whole, like, not spending money. I'm just doing my Doom's Day scroll on TikTok. I'm I'm getting my finances together. And then you come on the server, and you're like, guys, guess what? They drop posters! And that's the fastest I drop my credit card on shit. <laughs> You're like, you know what, today's a good day, I'm finally saving shit, you know, nothing to buy, I'm feeling great, and then, boom, two Vox posters, one Angel Dust poster. And I'm like, fuck! <laughs> it's like the fucking, like, he has risen, baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> On your left, baby girl. <laughs> and I don't want the world to see <laughs> Cause I, I don't, don't think, think that they understand the shirt. But if it teach me to be broken, broken. I just want I you just want to you know who I am. It's beautiful. <laughs> that was fantastic. We should make a song. <laughs> we, we should, should call it Piss Monkey. <laughs> of the Piss Monkey. <laughs> In honor of Piss Monkey. Yeah, the one thing I, I liked the most about this fanfiction, <laughs> how creative all of the names for the characters were. Yeah. White Excellence, Black Shadow, Piss Monkey. You don't want to know why he's called Piss Monkey. Yeah, you really don't. It's like the wise man and the honorary ruse. Like, who came, who, who came up with these names? Oh, yeah. Don't forget Tribal Chief. The chief of yeah, the tribal. Yeah, Tribal Chief. 
<laughs> of course, how could I forget? Yeah. I want to imagine that Piss Monkey got his name because he just, he urinated in public and they're like, haha, Piss Monkey. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and that's his name. <laughs> you sound like you've had this experience before. <laughs> what, pissing in public? <laughs> yeah. I've seen someone piss in public before and it was weird. Well, of course you it have was, your American. Okay, well. I don't want to share my experience anymore because you made fun of my indicity. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm gonna tell it anyway. <laughs> I was going to the mall with a friend and we parked in like th this like like a, like a, almost like a car garage, you know, like a little parking garage connected right to the mall. So we walked down to go to the entrance, and in the corner was a man, and he was just staring at the wall. And then we found out later as we walked by, he like quickly zipped up and like ran out of there. He pissed in the corner <laughs> of, of the parking lot. That is disgusting. I'm like, there's bathrooms, right, when you walk into the mall. Why didn't he just go there? He's Why is he risking, like, a like a, a charge of public indecency and flashing children when he can just piss in the bathroom? <laughs> Maybe that's what he wanted. What, to flash children? Yeah. Oh, that actually might make a lot more sense. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo, he just pissed in this corner! Like, the whole corner smelled like piss. <laughs> <laughs> piss monkey! <laughs> I don't think you can call him that. <laughs> Why? I don't- uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, how did you feel about this fanfic? I love piss monkey. Everything else is pretty good, too. <laughs> Okay, is the main character. <laughs> Whoever this author is, can we just get a fan fiction on Piss Monkey? I want to know about him. Listen, the beastly boom, please make a Piss Monkey fan fiction. <laughs> and my, my life is yours. is yours. You know what? You know what Piss Monkey reminds me of? Just the way that I like did his little voice and all the little shitty shenanigans of like he reminds me of like Fiddle Four when he lost his mind. Oh, and he's, like, he's living in a dumpster. He he's he has no fucking train of thought. <laughs> not, not this fucking gravity falls shit. <laughs> I don't like you right now. <laughs> you make fun of all my interests. What is what is up with that? Because all of your interests <laughs> include old men. <laughs> no. What are you talking yes. about? What? I mean, Vox. Okay, and, and Ford. That's it. Ford. And One Piece? One, one SMG4 is 25! How is that He's old? old? He's old! You realize I'm 22. Like, that's a three years age gap. <laughs> yeah, you're old too. Do you call Cameron old then? Because he's 23. Yeah, he's old. Damn. I'm gonna call him that. He's like, you're old! You're decrepit! <laughs> <laughs> you ancient fossil! <laughs> Withering away! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Are you ready to spin the wheel? <laughs> yeah. You sound so excited. Alright, what are you hoping for? I don't even know at this point. You Ozzy and Fizz! Did we even put it on the wheel? <laughs> yeah. We did? <laughs> yeah. And I don't want- Oh yeah, there he is. I'm hoping for oh, Vox and Wolverine. Oh yeah, that too. I'm hoping for Jazz X Striker. Also, what the fuck Why? is this? <laughs> what no. is this one? Do <laughs> that. Oh, I think you added this, right? You're like, can we add that? I'm like, yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> I, I know what I'm hoping for. What? Well, no. <laughs> All right, you said what was the good part about this one? The best part about the Rishi Sunak <laughs> fanfic is that you won't even have a clue what's going on. Just send me edits like a week before it and I'll, I'll try to understand. <laughs> yeah, they'll, they'll just be over the audio with Rishi Sunak oh. is a rat face. Oh. Oh, so I love the ads on the side of like, you want to get a Verasio with Hanging Tail from eBay? <laughs> LMG. For $55. <laughs> Is this a sign? Is it gonna be Veroska based? Oh my god. Let's see. If it is actually Veroska based, I believe in God. No! <laughs> 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 you're, you're screaming so 
loud, it actually cuts in and out. <laughs> oh, you don't have yeah. a three- <laughs> Do you want to read this Vox X reader that I that we had before? Asking for a friend. Hey, it could be worse. I could make you read S and G three four. I found more. You there's get, this silence is deafening. Get, get me out of here. <laughs> you're gonna. I'm like you're calling my lawyer, and it's just Alf. God. Hey. There's actual tears coming out of my eyes. Here, here, I'll make it fair, alright? Let me... Let me save this. And then let's- I'll make a new one. Okay. And then... Vox X Reader. There we go. So you can't get this mad. Is <laughs> the worst fucking wheel I have ever seen in my life. No matter what option it lands on, it's pain. <laughs> Wait, hold on. No! <laughs> you know what's worse? I'm actually hoping for the Chazik Striker. <laughs> Do not. Do not! Do not! We have a winner! Oh! Maybe me holding this big SMG4 plushie was a, was a sign, you know? The, the silence. <laughs> <laughs> you, are, you are in such despair right now. I can, I can feel oh it. Oh my god! It's, there isn't a god. It'll be there okay. There is not a it's, god. It's, it'll be okay. It's 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 okay. Uh, it's gonna be okay, Sage. All right. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> I hate my life! <laughs> At some point in the future, I'm gonna ask you to animate, like, hey, can you just animate your breakdowns on Wattpad Book Club? <laughs> uh, this is the most stressed that I have ever been in my life. Why? What's wrong? What's wrong? <laughs> yeah, what's wrong, buddy? You can talk to me. I fear that if I start talking, the worst words will come out of my mouth. I'm gonna get hate crime. <laughs> yeah, there is gonna be an actual war crime in a bottle flying out of my mouth. You don't want to hear what I have to say. <laughs> I'm gonna get a letter sent in the mail. It was like, I hate you, I hate you, go die. <laughs> Sincerely say <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> It's like the fucking like this is for Rachel, you musty ass, right? Crusty, smelly, fat bitch. You know what, guys? This is actually my last <laughs> Wattpad book clip reading. Here, I'll make it. See ya. I'll, I'll here. I'll I'll do you one better. We're gonna read the Vox X reader because I really want to continue that story. Okay. I'm not talking to you. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess next time you see Sage, we're gonna be reading a Vox X reader. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love how you say we're gonna make it fair and spin the wheel, and then you choose the one you want anyway. <laughs> I wanna see if it, like, shut up. Let me have this. <laughs> I don't have to explain myself to you, it's my choice. <laughs> I still have a choice. Uh, I'm gonna kill myself. You'll be okay. Just, just breathe. Not! Gonna be okay. <laughs> anyway, while Sage has a breakdown, thank you guys for watching. Um, there's a playlist on screen with all the other Wattpad book club readings, including the last one I did for the channel. So check those out. Um, Sage, you want to say anything? You want any words of wisdom? No. No. Okay. No. Okay. Uh, anyway, my name is Phoenix. That was Sage, and I I don't know if we'll see you guys next time. To be completely honest, <laughs> you won't. Okay. Bye. <laughs>